Hi, it's Pro here! Do you want to know how many times you got reported? Or how much you spent on RP? If the answer was yes, then you are in the right place. These Pro tips apply to all Riot's games. League of Legends, Wild Rift, Valorant and Legends of Runeterra. There are three chapters explaining how, what and why you can get the data. To get access to Riot's data, you have to do a Pro cosplay. Although, there is another way. Start by creating a ticket. The link to the support portal is in the video description. As a request type, choose Account Requests. After you select it, more fields will pop up. Subject and description can be whatever you want. No human will see the request anyway. Select Formal Personal Data Request. Continue by selecting I want the full data request of my personal information from Riot Games and tick in all the new boxes. Now you just need to fill in your username. Be careful. Username is the name you log in with, not the in-game one. Lastly, check everything and click Submit. Now you need to wait for about a month. Mine took 24 days to finish. When the data is ready, you will receive an email from Blitzcrank bot with a link to data.zip archive. This file contains all your data. What data will you get? Your summoner name, username and server, the phone number attached to your account, your registered date of birth, Report history, including reports made and received from the last three months, in-game chat logs from the same period, login history, player support history, all-store transactions like buying skins, champion and so on, and all RP purchases. Let's examine the data.zip archive itself. There are six folders, four for each game plus Zendesk and Riot account. All folders contain JSON files, which are just structured text files. You can open them with any text editor, such as Notepad or Visual Studio Code. The Zendesk and Riot account folders do not contain anything particularly interesting. Let's focus on League of Legends folder instead. The chat logs folder contains, well, chat logs. In the clash file is your phone number. In the summoner file is your server and in-game name. The store transactions file contains your every transaction in LoL. That includes open hextech chests, purchase champions and so on. Then there is RP purchase history, which contains all your RP purchases you made. In the last file, groupreports.json contains the information you were dying to know. It is the summary of reports you made and received in the past 3 months or 100 games. Folders for other games follow a format similar to the League One, so I will not go into their details. By the way, you can get report history for Valorant as well. You may ask, why is Riot giving away the data? Well, it's definitely not just for fun. In 2016, European Union published the General Data Protection Regulation, or better known as GDPR. This is a huge and very important piece of legislation, but right now we are only interested in Article 15, the right of access by the data subject. In summary, the article states that you have the right to obtain confirmation of whether your personal data are processed, and if so, you have the right to access the collected personal data. The full text of the article is on the screen, so feel free to pause the video and read it. Riot Games operate in the EU, and therefore it is subject to EU regulations, and that's why they must give you access to your data. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you asked Riot for your data and what have you found out. And don't forget to feed the pearls, please.